Trees provide so much for us in our daily life that we usually take for granted. Well, first of all, we wouldn't be breathing without trees. So trees provide us the oxygen that we breathe. They're great uh, water sinkers, so they take up that water, prevent flooding. They're fantastic features that break up an urban landscape and they sink the carbon that we need to do today. So in London, uh, the, la the last count, which was a few years ago, there are about nine million trees, which is about one per person. If we compare trees in an urban situation to uh, a, a woodland environment where they come from, in a woodland environment, they shelter each other, they shed each other, they give each other protection, and when a tree's feeling down, there's another one there to help it. So they do support each other. It is an incredible setup in a, in a woodland. In an urban situation, we don't have that. So trees are often planted on their own, in a street, in tarmac, in a car park, uh, with everything going against them. So, you know, they have to be really, really strong to, uh, to put up with that and survive. What we're really interested in is the issues associated with air pollution, especially of particular matter, very fine particles. And that can affect um, the ability of the tree to photosynthesize, so to be able to get the energy to grow. So you often see that trees are slightly uh, stunted and uh, wilting. Um, so it really does have a huge negative impact on the, the fitness of a tree. Well, how do trees protect themselves then against uh, pollution? Well, they can do that in different ways. There's a physical way, uh, and that has been recorded over time by them decreasing often the size of their leaves and the thickness of their leaves, and often they come a little bit more hairy. But otherwise, they can produce chemicals that help detoxify the uh, pollutant matter. We're you know, interested in being able to monitor the effect of pollutions in the trees on our site. And we've been doing that now for a few years. And we've been uh, helping to compose an index that has been used internationally, kind of air pollution tolerance index. So we have a better idea about the diversity of trees and how they are able to protect themselves. I think at this time, in this era that we live in now, never before as a botanic garden an arboretum become as important because you can come to Kew or any other arboretum or garden, uh, collect tree collection, you know, in the world, and you can observe trees, see how they grow, and uh, and and start to to decide whether a tree is fit for an urban setting. You know, for me, just to see all these different shapes and colours and sizes and a tapestry of of, of green is such a real good feel-good factor, a feeling of, of nature and peace.